welcome to part 9 uh, module 1 computer networks so uh, so far we were uh, discussing uh, the different uh, types of uh, computer network by scale or size now i just had a comparison chart uh, uh, to summarize what we already discussed so we saw uh, one more category called the personal area network one second but uh, for the comparison purpose uh, the lo local area network metropolitan area network and the uh, wide area network were taken because uh, personal area network is something very trivial one right so so if you are looking at the meaning right uh, the basic definition and the one the network that connects a ca group of computers in a small geographical area it covers relati relatively large maybe a a spread across cities wide area network means it connects uh, the, the large locality and connects countries together example the so called internet it will extend to internet the area covered it is limited to Mm, say 100 to 1000 meters coverage and these things we already seen when we discussed the topic and here it can go up to 100 kilometer I mean, it's a uh, 10,000 kilometer like this the ownership is I told you like local area networks are mostly private in nature but metropolitan area network and wide area network can be private or public mostly public so costly a uh, cost if you are looking at uh, it's a very uh, low cost uh, to set up because it's uh, number of devices where less area covered is less right moderate cost and here definitely high cost setup Mm, the design and maintenance everything will be easy uh, and this uh, for LAN difficult and difficult here because more devices are getting part of it right so propagation delay you know as uh, we already seen the things everything is a smaller one and we can predetermine it and it is normally bounded right so uh, and that is a short value also so here uh, you know it long distance communication of course the delay will be more speed also here it will be high so it is the best one right LAN, high speed short delay easy maintenance and low cost but definitely it is not expanding it is not scaling that is the problem when we try to add scaling definitely we have to compromise things so high speed up to this but here you can expect 100 megabits per second uh, like this. so it's more than this also we have the uh, thousand megabits per second means on gigabits per second right so we uh, right now we have a 10 gbps uh, gigabits per second uh, ethernet also like fault tolerance uh, of course that's more more to tolerant of fault and less and less right here and the traffic or the congestion definitely smaller one less here it will be more in general and the, where it is used the college school hospital like within a building small town cities country or continent so just for you for the exam writing purpose this comparison chart is being given and in detail we saw what is this local area metropolitan and wide area network and their Mm, some popular protocols of it, the wired and the wireless variation everything we saw in detail but uh, just uh, as a comparison table I pointed out them here now the very last concept uh, of this category the internet work uh, and I as I already told you the wide area network that will generalize to the so called internet that covers the entire planet so many network so when it comes to inter network why the term inter network because net between networks right inter network so different different network they want to communicate each other that is the idea so many network exist in the world often with the different hardware and software in the sense of different protocol of course so the people connected to one particular type of network say with a particular hardware and software often want to communicate with the people attached to a entirely different one so such scenarios will be there so the fulfillment of uh, this desire requires that different and frequently incompatible networks should be connected and communication should be possible uh, among them so a collection of interconnected network is what we call as an internetwork or simply internet okay so interconnected network means the individual uh, networks are being of different uh, protocols and different hardware in, in that way we have to visualize that is why that is where the difficulty arises. right so these terms will be used in generic sense uh, in contrast to the worldwide internet which is specific to internet so by default when we refer to internet we are actually trying to refer the so-called uh, worldwide internet right so 
inter network so other than the uh, so in internet we referring that is a world wide internet in a different context also we can use that term okay so that is a general specific term so the internet uses uh, internet service provider network to connect enterprise network home network and many other networks so this is internet service provider and their role we already seen uh, and uh, they are the one uh, who uh, a third party to which uh, who is providing that subnet right so uh, that uh, kind of interconnection their routing forward everything they will take care and you are supposed to uh, be a client for them you will pay them and they will provide the everything as a service for you so you don't have to worry about this how this internet working happens so that will be taken care of so that is the usual practice uh, we are having so how uh, now how two different networks can be connected uh, definitely some kind of water protocol conversion will be there right so one network is uh, following one set of rules and regulation another one a different one is following something different hardware is different heterogeneity will be there so the uh, connection between them means it has some uh, co complication in the sense the heterogeneity is to be masked and the protocol conversions are to be done so those things are normally achieved with the uh, special network devices so so far we saw the switch uh, router uh, we saw like the one who is doing this forwarding when it comes to router they can do routing in addition to forwarding like that we just got some uh, differences between them now we are introducing a third device called uh, the gateway okay so gateway is the one that is uh, something higher to the router so it is something that can do the responsibility of both a switch as well as a router so in addition to that what it can do is it can do this protocol conversion so the general name for a machine that makes a connection between two or more networks and provides a necessary translation i mean uh, the different networks being connected to this gateway are following different a uh, protocol as well as architecture as well as hardware everything is different and we should make them compatible uh, for the final communication so, so we have to do some kind of translation what is being said by one network should be known to the other one so we have to convert it into a language that the other network can understand and vice versa so all those things were taken care by the so called device gateway so that is the more powerful one it is something more than the switch or router but basically all our computers only with the different functionalities okay now we are adding uh, a more serious uh, responsibility uh, for the uh, router so even this router itself can act as a gateway provided it is capable of doing this protocol translation okay so that that about it theoretically we have different terminology but when it comes to practically mostly this router itself will be configured as a gateway also so that is a scenario so the gateways are distinguished by the layer at which they operate in the protocol hierarchy and th this layering concept we will see uh, very soon and that time uh, I think sometimes I already mentioned also like physical layer data link layer network layer uh, like that it will go so no normally this uh, gateways are where devices which are sitting at uh, top layers of the uh, layering architecture and that layering architecture we will see so so that about it uh, with this uh, we wind up our uh, discussion on the classification of computer network by scale so what are all the things we gone through the personal area um, local area wide area metropolitan area wide area network and finally we end our discussion with the so called internet okay and with and we introduce devices like a switch router gateway and don't worry all those things we will see in detail in our subsequent session and that time it will be uh, very clear for you okay thanks